But what about complexity and being able to index, track, and access all of your data across multiple platforms? Wouldn't that rule out tape? The answer to that question is a resounding no. Today's solutions for long-term archival storage can scale to billions of objects, and they can keep track of where information resides, even if that content is stored on tape. So let's repeat the message from earlier in the training. It's not tape or cloud. Tape is the cloud. It's a way of delivering something of value. Tape can help you address your backup and archival storage challenges, regardless of whether you take a traditional on-prem, hybrid, or as-a-service approach. As you can see from the LTO roadmap, vendors have a lot more room to scale current LTO 9 technology to reach larger capacities in the future. While the hard drive industry aims to deliver 100 terabytes of capacity per unit by the early 2030s, LTO 14 is projecting 1,400 terabytes in a single cartridge. This means a mid-range tape library like the HPE Storever MSL 3040 with 640 slots can hold almost 900 petabytes in a single 42U rack. Based on current roadmaps, tape is the only technology that can offer this kind of extreme storage density for cold data. And keep in mind, that future generations of LTO could see faster reductions in cost per terabyte because the technical leap required, while challenging, is not so revolutionary as the one needed to build larger hard disk drives. Before we move on, I want to stress that hard disk drives will have a role to play in managing cold data. Because they do offer faster, random access for workloads like the machine learning and AI training we mentioned earlier. But this cannot be the solution for the majority of that huge cold data tier for the reasons I've just described. 